What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Fruit nut. This is one of the cooking books that Monica had in her kitchen. <laughs> Two tablespoons. Oh, I love it. Delicious. Made from scratch from the book. Darn it. Scooper glass thingy. So it's double vintage. Have a festival. Ooh, whatever that means. A little drinky poo. In today's video, we are continuing the vintage theme from last week, but we are not thrifting. We are in my kitchen and we are making vintage recipes from the new cookbook, Better Homes and Gardens. This was released in 81. So I think it's safe to say that it is a vintage book. I actually thrifted this probably 20 years ago. So even for me, it's vintage. So it's double vintage, whatever that means. Now, if you are a Friends fan, you might recognize that this is one of the cooking books that Monica had in her kitchen. And that's the original reason why I thrifted it. Plus, it's fun. Now, I've done a whole bunch of different recipes throughout the years from this, and today I am tackling some new recipes even for myself. So we are together diving into this semi-blind. <laughs> now let me share what we're gonna make. First off, we are going to make a macaroni cheddar salad. Then we have a asparagus tomato stir fry for a sweeter treat isk we have a fruit and nut salad and i am going to make something that is called the reception punch or drink reception drink creamy reception drink creamy reception punch now i have my vintage apron now for the ingredients Macaroni cheddar salad. Elbow macaroni, I have pre-cooked it. It has been in the fridge, so it's cooled off. Some green bell pepper, celery, onion, of course our cheddar cheese. Sour cream, mayo, some French dressing that I made from scratch from the book, and sweet relish. Now I will put up the recipes so you can take a screenshot yourself and recreate these for yourself. Now, even though I am following the recipe, I am also kind of eyeballing the amounts. So I'm trying to stay as true as possible, but I've said this before, we're in my kitchen, so I have the liberty to mix things up. Now in a smaller bowl, I'm going to combine all of the so-called sauce ingredients, mix them together, and then add them to our salad. Okay, let's combine our sauce with our salad ingredients. I've made plenty of macaroni salad through the years, but not this combination and it smells and looks divine. I'll set this aside so we can attack our second dish. For this next recipe, I'm heating up my large skillet in the back. You can use a wok like the recipe suggests. It's going to be an asparagus tomato stir fry. You need asparagus, the tomatoes, green onion and mushrooms. I'm also going to make a cornstarch soy mixture to add to the vegetables. Adding the water to our cornstarch. Soy sauce. And salt. I'm going to set this aside and we can meet at the stove. Now that this is ready, we can move on to our third dish. Now, I do recognize that I said that we were making a fruit nut salad, but actually it's called fruit nut tropical slaw. This is gonna be, again, a super easy, combine everything together, mix it up and indulge. Canned pineapple, 
some lemon juice. Just gonna squeeze it in. Slice my banana. I'm very excited to taste this combination of fruit and vegetables. Let's add our mandarin, celery, cabbage. Let's mix before we add the rest. Now raisins, walnuts, and I do have to say that I didn't know that <laughs> there was a thing called orange yogurt, but orange yogurt looks and smells delicious. And now we mix. Now that this is ready, I'm gonna make our last dish, which is actually a drink, and then we can taste these. Now for the reception punch, you're gonna need vanilla ice cream, juice from a lemon, a lemon lime carbonated water drink, and orange juice. We're gonna combine all of these ingredients together, and then our taste buds can have a festival. Two tablespoons. Oh, darn it. Oops. <laughs> this looks like something I would have made as a kid. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now the recipe didn't say to break the ice cream, so I'm just assuming that the lumps will be in your little drinky poo. Let's dig in. I'm gonna start with the macaroni cheddar salad. Try and get all of the ingredients. Mmm. I love it. <laughs> it's cheese, mayo, macaroni. What's not to like? Now for our asparagus tomato stir fry. Mmm. 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 Very subtle soy flavor, but you can really taste the vegetables. Mm, so good. Now for the tropical slaw. Again, I wanna try and get all of the flavors and ingredients. Well, it's gonna be tricky. Mm, mm-hmm, mm. oh my goodness. The cabbage tastes like fruit. Oh, that sounds weird. Let's cheers with our drink. Being that it is a punch, I have these glass, kind of punch glasses. I'm just gonna scoop some up and drink it right out of the scooper glass thingy. Cheers. Mm. This definitely reminds me of my childhood when we would have ice cream sodas, where you put the ice cream and then you put the pop on top. Mm. It's kind of good. And the orange juice isn't as tarty with the ice cream that I thought it would be. Delicious. One thing I did notice when I was making these and when I was going through the book and looking for recipes to make for today is that there isn't a lot of seasoning. There's a little bit of salt here, the soy, and it doesn't come across as bland as I thought it would be. But obviously, if you wanted to spice it up, go ahead, feel free. I just want it to be as true and as close to the original recipes, just to find some new flavors and try out stuff that I've never tried before, especially the cabbage in the fruit salad was something I've never seen before. But everything today is super delicious, absolutely a fun mix for summer. The, all of these dishes would be perfect for a cookout or a barbecue, great sides, great main dishes, and maybe even something that the kids will like. I hope you enjoyed this video, and maybe this will even inspire you to try some of these recipes out. Now, go ahead, like this video, and remember to subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video. Take care now. <laughs> <laughs> Now, <clears throat>